it's me D. I am making a rotisserie chicken today in the oven and I am going to use a bunt pan to do it okay so what I did to stop oh my hair <laughs> so I washed my hair today anyway what I'm going to do is I have some olive oil in here and in the olive oil I put some salt and pepper some paprika and let's see oh garlic powder and onion powder okay and again paprika salt pepper garlic powder onion powder olive oil okay that's what I have here okay that's what I have mixed right there so what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to rub this all over my chicken okay and we're gonna take it from there okay friends and family again here is the sauce I just made this is a fourth a cup of olive oil it's a teaspoon of garlic powder a teaspoon of onion powder a teaspoon of paprika and some salt and pepper okay it says about a quarter cup of pepper and a half of, I mean a quarter teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of the salt okay but they want you to rub this all over okay so Rub that all over here. Yeah. Rub it all over. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to cover every inch of it that I possibly can. And I have just a tiny, tiny bit left in here. Let's get in the cavities a little bit. Just so we got that flavor all over. All right. And then that probably is a flavor all to itself right so i think i'm gonna add some lemon rosemary seasoning on top of that so i have some lemon rosemary and i just want to sprinkle all over okay get it all over there Let's put that up. Sprinkle some on the inside. Get some on the back side. All right. Get that all over. And all of the cavities, okay? There. Now it says you need one onion cut in quarters and three carrots cut in one and a half inch chunks. One and a half inch chunks and my onion, okay? So, uh, I don't have any fresh sprigs of thyme. So in here it says, uh, slide the tail end of the chicken over the hollow tube. So this end goes over here like this if it'll go let's see I don't know if it's gonna fit guys doesn't seem like it's big enough so there we go all right Okay, so that's the tail end of the chicken. I'm tucking the wings in. Okay. Tuck it 
tuck it in the wings and then it says to place it on a baking sheet I don't think I need a baking sheet place onions carrots around and then add some chicken broth around that so lining that up around it Know if you guys can see or not here we go so those are the carrots and then there's an onion on each side let's see here we go okay and then it says Oh, pour the broth or the wine in there. So, I have some wine that I've been trying to use here. It only asks for about a half a cup. Okay, so I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. Thought I had some balsamic. Type vinegar there. I'm just going to pour a little bit. Okay. And I think I want to be inclusive. You don't want to spray a little bit of balsamic vinegar around it okay because I like balsamic vinegar and then it says to pop it in the oven until for about 75 to 90 minutes or until it's no longer pink and the juices run clear okay so I shouldn't need those to get it in there I've already put my put put this on the lowest setting here so that it sits up high in the oven and I'll see you guys in a bit so everyone the chicken is looking really good I have a little bit of rice left I have the basmati brown and wild rice I have some sasson and I have a little bit of orzo Okay, so I figure I'm going to cook the rice, and when it's almost done, I'm going to put a little bit of orzo in there too because the orzo only takes about 10 minutes, 8 to 10 minutes, whereas the rice takes 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, and I have 10 minutes left on the rice to make an hour, and then I'm going to put it on for another 30 minutes. And that way, it should be done right about the time that the rice is done. And by the way, it is on 350 degrees, okay? All right, guys, see you in a bit. Hey, everyone, I'm back for a moment here. I actually took my rice and put some California vegetables on top of there. And I'm using that as my vegetables and rice, okay? So that's my starch and my vegetables that's my starch and vegetables guys okay and I'm getting ready to take out the chicken okay I'm getting ready to take it out the oven has been on for about 90 minutes now away 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 Look at that. Oh, my, my, my. Look at that chicken. Look at them vegetables and rice. Look at that chicken. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, nice and done, baby. 
Look at that rice and vegetables. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. That. It's some good stuff. Thanks guys for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you the next time I think of something crazy to do, okay? <laughs> Bye guys. Okay guys, I'm actually cutting the chicken. Okay. It's nice and crisp. Tastes great. Make sure you guys season it up right nice and like I did. That lemon rosemary kicked it over the top. And it's nice and crispy. Mmm. Delicious. See you guys next time.